YouTube, Shukun Strobe here with a review of the D-Arts Tamashii Web exclusive Black War Greymon from Digimon Adventure 02. Uh, it's also known as Digimon Season 2 over here. Uh, so, uh, logo right there, the D-Arts Black War Greymon. Pretty much very similar to the War Greymon box, except done in a black and green color scheme. With a bunch of neons and stuff. Black War Greymon over here. You can revive impressive scene with a lot of joints and ultimate modeling. Hell yeah, you can. Toei Animation logo. Tamashi Web Exclusive. And the back. Which is really cool. I like all the neon greens and... Not neon, but like black light-ish thing. So anyway, here is Black War Greymon. Let's go ahead and uh, bring, bring him in closer to the camera. Say hi for the camera. So uh, here's his head. I like it except for the fact that the eyes are so yellow that um, they, they, they really stand out. You can't see the white. So it just looks like a giant yellow beady eye. And it's just it's not anywhere near as impressive looking as uh, normal War Greymon's head. However, um, the black on his body is really nice. I love this black. It's just it's kind of like as black as you can get. I don't know. But uh, it looks really nice. I've always been a fan of Black War Greymon over War Greymon just because I like the black, gold, and silver color scheme a lot. Uh, whereas War Greymon definitely had uh, signs of of Greymon in him, whereas Black War Greymon didn't. Uh, I always kind of preferred this guy better. He's one of my favorite characters in uh, Season 2. So his body has a nice matte finish to it, uh, just like he did... So that's really nice as well. And uh, unlike him, none of his joints are floppy. So he can actually hold a pose in his arms. Uh, his hips are a little bit weak, but um, once you kind of like spread his, not spread his legs, but uh, kind of give him in a little bit wider stance, they kind of even out. So, um, yeah, I mean, there really isn't too much to go over with this guy. I can see his detailings here. Obviously, he has no detailings on the back besides being a fingerprint magnet. Uh, whereas he has the Crest of Courage. He's just got blank slates, and it's all very, very, very bland back here. Uh, but, I mean, the armor pieces are still floppy. His shoulder pads are very, very, very wiggly. And then these don't lock in place at all, so they kind of swivel around. And just like before, you can pop those off. And then maneuver the fist around to come out. And then put the fist, if I can find out where the fist went. There it is. And then pop the fist right back in there. So you can give, you can give him fists too if you like. Uh, so, I mean, that option is nice. So I would have preferred these to just kind of be hands. Um, I, I don't like the fact, the, 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 the fact that there are a bit on the floppy side. I, I don't really like that. I think it ruins his uh, posability a little bit. So I mean, I just prefer it if this would have just been a hand unit and then he would have came with uh, swappable fists instead. Particularly because it's kind of a pain in the ass to get his hand back on. Properly anyway. There we go. Oh, don't fall. So yeah, I mean he's got all these individual movements, movement pieces in his armor so it, it's kind of really hard to get a good pose. So I'm just kind of going to end up mimicking him. But uh, he does come with his little Nova Giga, whatever the hell this was called in Zero Two. I think it was Terra Destroyer, maybe. I'm going to go with that. But uh, it, it works the same as his. You kind of wiggle it into uh, the space between his... His claws and then you level it out and then hope he holds it and then he won't so again while while the effect is there I mean he's got the little pegs right there and they do fit right where they're supposed to fit it's just very seldom do they actually stay in place oh they did this time they actually pegged in why do you make me look like a liar so now he can raise his his ball of death and and go oh look at me I got a ball of death and I go bop and then shit happens but um pretty cool 
again, pretty pointless, but uh, but definitely cool. His his hand or his shoulder joints are actually tight enough for me to actually do that. Unlike him, his shoulder just kind of collapses upon itself, and then and then we get nowhere fast. So just gonna do a pretty simple simple pose for him. Just something like that. Pop him here, and again, here is normal War Greymon. He is pretty much the same exact thing, except he is going to have a mirrored pose. I had to do something like this because I couldn't get his claws to, or rather, I couldn't get his arm to stand up straight. So he's. He's kind of like waving at you. So he is waving. And uh, there we go. Here are two, two War Greymons. All pimped out and ready to go. So, I mean, as for Black War Greymon here, uh, if you're a huge Digimon fan, particularly of Season 2, and you really like Black War Greymon, go ahead and pick him up. I mean, he's got some of the same problems I had with this guy, except this guy has uh, shoulder, shoulder, shoulder joints or rather, yeah, the shoulder joint inside that um, works a lot better uh, than this guy. I don't know what kind of problems I had going on with him, but there was just a lot of quality control problems going on with the original release. But I like him. He, his color scheme is cool. Um, the problems I had with the mold, at least with my shoulders, are fixed on this guy, so I appreciate him a little bit more. And again, I've always had a thing for Black War Greymon because I love his color scheme so much. So, a uh, recommended to Digimon fans, um, pretty passable if you've already picked this guy up and don't really have any sort of emotional attachment to Black War Greymon. So, um, moderately recommend it. Uh, you'll want it if you want it. Otherwise, it's pretty much pass. So, you can check out a written review at RidersRangerRambles.com, bringing you the latest token news in the craziest way possible. And, of course, you can uh, discuss Digimon and anything else at the Ramboards at RidersRangerRambles.com slash forum. So, take care and have a great one. Bye.